there are so many videos out there telling you how to start a channel everything you need to make sure you do make sure everything you need to make sure you consider before starting a channel but the thing is is they don't mention everything and i can guarantee you they don't like the long running sub running youtubers and even the youtubers who have only been on for three years even they don't mention it so i'm going to bring you all the little things that you need to make sure you do to your channel or you need to consider for your channel so that you can be successful in 2021 and get those subscribers that you have either been waiting for if you already have a channel or that you are hoping to get if you are just starting so let's just get into the video now when i say the long running subs youtubers don't even mention it i mean alicia marie she uploaded a video a few days ago where she was talking about it and all the stuff you need to do for creating a channel and she never mentioned any well barely any of what i'm going to mention because and there are all of the videos that i have watched no one mentions these so the first thing that you obviously need to do and it is the same as what other people say the rest of the list isn't but it is your channel name what are you going to call yourself you can either do full name you can include part of your name now yes you don't have to include your name but at least some point mention part of your name whether it be surname even middle name just to give it a little bit more real like make you seem more relatable so for example dennis asmr dennis isn't his first name it's his middle name so you can brand it that way so my channel name has evolved it started out as challenge beauty because i want i was going to do this channel for beauty challenges yes i know so creative then i changed to caitlin beauty then I changed to only Caitlyn and then now I'm on Caitlyn's Corner. There's a chance that I was something else in that mix but I'm definitely on the fourth name. So you can change it. It's obviously YouTube, not YouTube, Google allows you to change your name every, like, the, it doesn't allow you to change it loads and loads of times but I think it, because it's now more acceptable that people do change channel names. I think it's become a bit more acceptable but you can change it it's not permanent so for example Catherine Manning after she'd grown her channel so many subscribers with the content with the name content bug or the content bug should I say she then changed it to her name which is Catherine Manning so you can change your channel like name it but think of something if you don't know exactly how to name your channel based on your topic which I will come to later then just go with your full name or your first name and then corner or only first name you get what I mean so then the next thing is the topics or niche now I w I'm gonna use topics for this point so you don't have to stick to one topic or if you do stick to one topic don't be too specific be a little bit broader and because then that allows you movement within that topic so for example going with lifestyle there's so much many parts of lifestyle you can talk about you can talk about organization you can talk about like food and routines and you can just talk about so many different things in the lifestyle niche which is the perfect thing because it means you don't have to sort of like worry about trying to think of content that's related to your specific subject now if you maybe are an expert in a subject and you definitely just want to talk about that then you can do however it can be a little hard to grow and when you start out it's good to start off being a bit broad because then you can sort of see what works and what doesn't 
and that can be really beneficial for you to know what direction to change to take with your channel however you can change your niche so for example I said a few minutes ago that I started out as being like beauty and I'm now mainly talking about lifestyle because I rarely talk about beauty anymore so you can evolve but and by being broader it allows you to evolve more and it allows you to transition to a different subject easier so that's something to keep in mind. The next thing you need to consider is the channel avatar. Make sure the photo sort of like looks nice with good lighting. It can be a selfie however don't have a selfie with like a snapchat filter. Just don't because it doesn't look, it looks quite childish and unless children are your like sort of target audience you're not really going to gain subscribers because people are going to think oh she's a bit childish and they're not going to so make sure you keep that in mind so just nice light good photo with nice lighting that's all i can say and don't do it where it's like just your forehead like no no one wants that the next thing you need to look at is channel banner now this doesn't have to be complicated mine isn't simple it in a snapshot it should say what your channel is about and also maybe your niche and also when you upload so you'll include like your channel name then you'll maybe say like lifestyle and or like the topics you talk about so i don't know lifestyle cooking and baby names or something i don't know but you might want to mention all three of those and then mention when you upload and maybe put in like which sort of like time zone you're in and if you want to you can include like time zones of different places so for example because i live in the uk my time i upload would be uk time but then i might include the time that it would be in new york so that americans sort of know kind of get a general idea of when the video could go live obviously i know america's in different time zones but they can get a more general idea and then i might include one that's like in australia so that australians and people in that sort of in those sort of time zones know if that makes sense so i created mine using canva but i know in a previous one i created it using gimp gimp is a free easy to use software that i use if i want to make if i sort of want to add more detail into my um thumbnails it's just so easy the next thing you'll want to consider is your upload schedule and so this will be like what days are you going to work day or days are you going to upload and at what time on those days or day should i say it's simple and you'll know you'll be able to decide this based on what you're what you do in life like what your schedule outside of what your youtube channel youtube channel would be so it's good to sort of look at what times do i have where i'm easily able to reply to any comments by any like friends who i've shared my video with then the next thing that relates to upload time is what time do you have to film or edit so like what free time do you have to spend on this channel you need to see like what free time you have so you sort of know how many times you can upload and i would recommend starting out with one video a week seeing how you sort of go and if you find you've got time then do a second video or if you find some weeks you can some weeks you can't then just have like a bonus upload rather than having it as an actual set day that you're uploading the next thing you need to consider is where are you going to film this could be a certain room or a certain like desk i don't know 
wherever you've got in your house and also decide like are you going to be sitting or standing obviously you can like interchange but sort of figure out where you're going to film obviously you can change rooms but sort of figure out which rooms you have got to film in like the best locations so if you are wanting to change locations in your video then you know where you can go to get good lighting and then the next thing that links into that is what video editing software are you going to use now I'm saying all this before you've even created your first video this is all the stuff you need to have set it up in place so that when you up so that when you go to film your first video you can hit the ground running rather than like being sort of like stagnant and not knowing what to do having all this set in place and having a plan set in place can be very easy so that you sort of know what to do and you can obviously always change stuff about but going in ha knowing having a plan can be very good and can be very helpful with uploading so video editing software like what are you going to edit your videos with you could use iMovie if you have an iPad or a computer or laptop now I wouldn't recommend editing on your phone just because typically phones don't have that much storage and also it's kind of a little bit harder to sort of like scroll through and edit so I would definitely recommend iPad or computer you can also use DaVinci like Resolve or VSDC now I know going around there's Filmora I once tried to use Filmora but it would always come up with that like banner at the bottom and I don't know whether I was doing it right but it was like that watermark banner and yeah it just didn't work out for me and then moving on to that is thumbnail creation software what are you going to use to make your thumbnails look nice this could be Kemba, GIMP as I've just mentioned as I mentioned a few minutes ago or you can use Adobe Spark that's quite good I use that to start with well not right at the start because I don't even I just sort of took a photo or actually no I think I just sort of took one of the you know like the screenshots and, and just did that I've also heard of some people using PicMonkey however I also have had that pink mon pick monkey is something you have to pay to use so that's something to look into then the next thing is the about page fill it in basically what's your channel about so like what can a potential subscriber expect from your channel and also like so like what content is to be expected and maybe give like a little intro to yourself maybe which country you live in whether you have kids or not if that's something you're talking about on your channel I don't know yeah just make sure you fill out that about page so that your channel looks full and so that it doesn't look as though it's like a beginner's channel yeah then fill in the you then go into upload defaults in settings which you can find on the creator studio and when you go onto that fill in the description that's going to come up every single time now that description only comes up every single time if you're uploading on a computer or laptop so like a desktop type thing it doesn't come up if you are uploading on ipad or phone and so that's something to be sort of wary of but if you fill this out and again with description have your maybe have your social media linked and also again do like a little bit of a paragraph of what your channel is about what people can expect so that anyone watching that video that first video when you do come to upload it will see what exactly they can expect without having to go on to your about page because someone watching your video isn't going to take the time and effort to then go on to to then click on your channel to go to the about page just to find out what your channel is about they're going to want to know straight away people don't have time these days or don't want to give time so having it in the description is very very handy then also again default tags this is any tags that are gonna be on every single one of your videos 
for me the only two tags that I have on this channel is my actual channel name and also my ASMR name just so that if anyone was searching my ASMR channel they might come across these videos and it sort of works well in terms of like cross promoting so people will hopefully get my main channel videos recommended in my ASMR videos and vice versa. Then the next thing that kind of links kind of doesn't is channel tags. These are different to default tags and this is again in like the sort of like settings area. The settings area is very easy to navigate by the way so don't worry it's not daunting. So go onto that. So basically go onto that and put in some tags so this can be your channel name again but then also like your topics so if you are talking about organisation you can like type in organisation into there and it's just it tells YouTube what your channel is about so that when you come to upload it knows sort of where to slot your videos in and so again it allows people to find your channel or be recommended to your channel. Then the next thing is social media links. Link your social media, even if it's just an Instagram, like even if you don't use it often, put your Instagram in, like, and you add those through, you can also obviously stick those in the description, like the default description, or put it, there's a special place on the same like about page area that you can add it in and it will come up on the sort of like home page of your channel page if that makes sense and it will come up in like the little corner at the bottom right of your channel banner and so that way people can find your instagram and you can cross promote the next thing is potentially a crucial one and it is create a watermark for your channel now you might think mm, i don't need to create a watermark but actually having a watermark can prove very handy for possible theft of content like by having a watermark it just tells everyone that it's yours and so if someone was to download your content and try to upload it as their own the watermark isn't going to match and so because the watermark isn't going to match people are going to see actually this isn't their content and they're not going to support that channel and they're also going to report that person who's trying to pass off your content as their own so make sure you watermark create a watermark i created mine on canva actually no i didn't i created mine on gimp and mine is totally unique it's not something that could be replicated and for me that's perfect because I hand draw it myself on GIMP and so that's something you kind of want to consider create a watermark so that then people can't pass off your content as their own then the next thing is equipment so like what are you going to film on I've mentioned that briefly phone iPad you can film on your like laptop or computer I've, I've started out on my laptop but the quality wasn't the greatest so that's something to consider so sort of like test out put if you are thinking about using like a laptop sort of do like a tester video where you sort of say like hi this is a tester I'm just trying is I don't know just so that you can see how things look and also have you got a window with good lighting I'm sat in front of my window now, granted it's getting darker so that's why it's not as great. Have you got a window to film at? Like a good enough window or yeah. And also do you have a laptop or computer to edit on? Now obviously you can edit on an iPad, however the only software you can sort of use on iPad is iMovie. And I would recommend sort of going for something a little bit better or even if it's just the iMovie on a computer it might be a little better. I have never owned like an Apple desktop or Apple laptop so I wouldn't know but I'd recommend something that's a bit more 
but still free. Like, don't pay to start with until you've sort of tested out something. And if you want to go for their like advanced features, then do it. But wait until you've uploaded a few videos and you've sort of tested around with what the editing software can do. And then the final thing that you need to make sure you do is to set the age of your content. So recently, not recently, but actually it was probably over a year ago now actually. Wow. Nah, it wasn't a year ago was it? No, I think it might have been actually. So over a year ago, Copper came out. It's to do with children and protecting children from potentially dangerous or violent or inappropriate content and so if your channel is aimed towards adults then in the settings section you can put it as this content is not for kids I can't remember what it's exactly titled but it basically says that or if you are uploading for kids then click the this content is suitable for kids or if it's a varied mixture then just click I'll choose this for every video but if you know that it's just going to be aimed at one sort of like people over a certain age like people over 12 maybe I don't know depends on the parents but anyone sort of over 12 who could watch your channel you sort of want to set it as adults like not appropriate for kids so that's something you need to consider that's something you should put in because if you put in it the definitive one of it is or it isn't then it means you don't have to sort of like set it up and it means that when it does come to you uploading that actual first video you're going to have all these little things set in place so even though yes you'll want to do like a little sort of like summary paragraph right at the top of your description the rest of the description is good to go and it's the same with tags you're going to have to put all the tags in relevant to that video but you've already got the odd one in place and so it's just easy and it helps you sort of know things and sort of like set things up but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys